Okay. Uh, hello. Hi. We are live. I as Okay, yes. Excellent. Wow. Holy crap. I am Grayson Allen. I'm riding a unicorn, apparently. Uh, why am I... I don't know. That's not what I wanted. Can I... Thank you. Okay. Oh my gosh. Alright. Um... Uh... There we go. Okay. Sorry. I... I'm about five minutes later than I like to be. I like to start exactly at eight. I did not start exactly at eight. Um, I was ready to go about five minutes, like five minutes to eight. And all of a sudden, my virtual camera crashed and everything else crashed with it. So I had to restart everything, reset up everything. I uh, didn't do as many of the usual checks as I would like to because I was trying to, s to rush it. <laughs> as quick as I could to get on here. Uh, but geez, yeah. Uh, I'm here. Everything looks to be fine. So, uh, if everything crashes again, that's going to make me sad. <clears throat> oh, George, you always die here. Yes, but okay, anyway. To get on with the stream, I am Grayson Allen. I have purple ears and shorts and a koala on my shoulder. So I'm I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, last stream, we made a lot of good progress. We were continuing with the MSQ. We got to Hawk Manor, uh, beat up a succubus, and then we continued on into Limsa Lominsa, where we had to, where we learned that we need to hunt down the primal known as Titan, which uh, I assume is going to be a problem. Uh, We'll get to that when we get that. And hopefully we're going to get that to the, get to that today, because that's what I promised with the thumbnail and title. We'll see how it goes. Uh, we also did a white mage quest, which took a little bit longer than I thought. It was a pilgrimage that ended up being uh, a slog into hell and back, which is fine. It's how things go on occasion. Um, let me see here. Yes. So, we're starting today's stream. We're going to finish up the next White Mage quest that I have unlocked here. Do that. And then we will go back to Limsa Liminsa. Go back to that windmill. Talk to What's-His-Face bomb. Uh, continue MSQ. And we are good. I... Slightly flustered. But that is part of life. Okay, Raya, what do you want? Daya Oseno would have you recover the stolen ashes of Atoa Kant. Oh, that's right. During the last quest, we found out that Atoa Kant's uh, burial ashes were stolen. At least part of his ashes. He's spread out all over the world, but somebody went ahead and stole some of them. For nefarious purposes, maybe. Huh. Grave robbery is a loathsome enough crime in its own right, but to defile the final resting place of a Pajal... Such an act could only be performed by the lowliest of bandit scum. Though I would like to think that the elementals have already delivered due justice to the villain, we must take no chances in allowing an escape. That's pretty vengeful of you. Whilst you were away, I put my best Mughal on the hunt, searching for any sign of the culprit of the stolen remains. I dare say he should have a clue, for, a clue or two for us by now. I... Sure, your your guard Moogle was on that. That is that the best you have. Uh, you know, it's fine. Uh, at least he better, if he values that little ball on his head. Suffice it to say, though many forest-born think of the Moogles as blessed, my own personal experience has found them to be more touched than anything else. Okay, this is taking a turn of concern. Oh, oh. She was talking about you right in front of you that way. Kupcha, you gotta defend yourself. <laughs> Sigh. Oh, mistress, you shouldn't say such hurtful things. It's most unbecoming of a seer, Kupo. But fine, don't listen to me. Why, I told her just the other day that this is why she remains, shall we say, unspoken for. She might not react to that phrasing at present, but her ire was indeed fierce, Kupo. Of course, you have not come to discuss my mistress's temper. 
my mistress's temper, but the grave robbery, a most unforgivable act of villainy if I do say so myself, which I believe I just did, Kupo. I am pleased to say, and you will be pleased to hear, that the culprit did not escape Moogle eyes, Kupo. Well, my eyes, he did escape. My associate, Pook, <sighs> my associate Pook no Pokey, however, claims to have seen a band of ruffians skulking off in the direction of Redbelly Hive with various and sundry stolen goods in tow. Among them, a rather conspicuously elaborate urn, Kupo. I do not know what the red bellies are up to, but surely it can be nothing good. Please, Grayson, go quickly. If the urn is lost, I fear Raya's... I fear Raya O's ire will be the least of my worries, Kupo. Uh, great. Fantastic. Uh, great. Ah, <laughs> uh, hold on just a moment. Need to make sure... Okay. Sorry, I'm just extra paranoid because the world exploded around my ears ten minutes ago. But cool. So, Kupcha's friend is now the one I look for. Yearn for the urn, really. I... Uh, where am I? I'm down there. So if I teleport to Quarry Mill, that'll be a bit quicker. Alright. Ooh, all right. Feeling a little bit better. Had my lifespan shortened by about five years by panic, but things are good. Things are functioning. I just double checked everything again. It looks like I think we're probably good for. Oops. Can't quite. There we are. I don't know if I can get out this way. I don't think I can. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah, so I think we're good for this of the day. Um, oh, that's something else I need to remember. The Wood Whaler Expeditionary Captain. I forgot, I unlocked, uh... Like, the Palace of the Dead or something like that? I can't remember what it's called exactly. It sounded like it was sort of like a, uh... Roguelike dungeon. Where you start at level 1 every single time. That seemed kind of interesting. I haven't uh, messed with it yet. Because that feels like a whole other uh, nightmare that I don't have the skill for, most likely. But I'll get to it eventually. That feels like that could potentially be like a full-length stream all on its own. So I might save that for like maybe even like a Saturday. Because Saturday streams I can go a little bit longer. But let's see what... Oh, excuse me. Thank you. I come in? Have to really glitch your way in here, jeez. Wonder, you know, I wonder if the Lalafells have a smaller hitbox. Like, can they crawl through that? If you're a Lalafell character? Hmm. Anyway. Pook no pokey. Those thieving crooks! Those crooked thieves! Defiling the rest resting place of a Pajal! Why, no amount of thrashings, lashings, and bashings would suffice! It was really violent in this forest. Koopa Po? Why, if it isn't the dashing white mage Koop Koopcha Koopa spoke of, and not a moment too soon. Why, I was just about to swoop in and give them their comeuppance myself. Now that you're here, however, I believe I'll just sit back and enjoy the show, Koopo. Those vile red bellies tossed the urn onto some ramshackle wagon, a most ignoble fate for a Pajali legend, I do declare, and carted it northwise toward their hive. You'll retrieve it safe and sound, won't you, Koopo? I sure. Probably, maybe. Don't... Don't put too much pressure on me there. Pook no. If that is your real name. Oh, it's just right over there. It's blocked up by the arbor. Oh, it's literally right over there. Okay. Alrighty. Gonna kill me, a band of thieves. Ooh, hello. Don't mind me, apparently. This is the perfect plan. Event cancelled. Ah. Gee, what the... Oh, good. Um... Jeez, I'm... Stop. Wow, my, uh... My fighty bar, my fighty bar went away at a really bad time. All right, we are. Uh... Oh, 
Okay, we are back under control. Uh, guys, the curse is strong today. It's really after my blood. Okay. <laughs> Okay, we are... Everything is fine. I definitely intended it to be this way. Is everything cool? Is that poisoned? I guess it's fine. Oh, I should be casting Regan on myself. What am I doing? I have the spell Regan and I never use it. It's basically free health. Am I still taking damage? I'm still taking damage. It's probably fine. I got something. I yearn for the urn. Where do I... I'd go talk to, uh... What's her name? Raya. Alright. Alright. Oh. Hmm. Now, hold on just a moment. I'm just gonna... Okay. Uh... Alright, looks like for today at least I'm gonna have to unfancy my graphics a little bit. Which is a slight shame. But... I'm still laggy. What is going on today? I know my virtual camera is giving me giving me a lot of grief lately, which is annoying. This is like the third time I've switched virtual cameras, and it's still it's like they work fine for a while, and then they slowly work less and less fine. So I'm not sure what's going on there, but it's not my favorite. The final remains of the wandering Pajala Toakant. Here. Let me pour these into your hands, Raya. Ah, thank you, Grayson. The remains of our exalted forebear hauled away by brigands like a sack of loot. Is that what our land has come to? There can be no doubt. It is the Great One's fury that brings such chaos to the Twelveswood. The situation is grave indeed. I shall have our wood whalers deal with the red bellies. We have more important matters before us. Uh, oh, Mexican Tail. Hello. Mexican Tail says hello, paranormal. Uh, hey, Mexican Tail, how are you doing? How's your day going? Ah, and yet, I fear we have hit another snag. Though the urn has been safely recovered, the harsh treatment it suffered at the hands of the bandit has taken its toll. Uprooted from its proper resting place, the power of Atoakant once housed within has grown dim. I shall return the urn to its rightful home. Perhaps over time it will return to its former state. And yet, I fear time is a luxury we do not have. We must explore other means to enchant the ritual garb. I will consult with my brother to see what knowledge he might have to offer. In the meantime, I would ask that you master your newfound skills as best you can. There is no telling when the Great One's fury might grow too strong to contain. We must ever be prepared. Yeah, I got holy. Look at me. Mexican Tail says playing some Final Fantasy XV Royal Edition. Nice. How's that game going for you? Are you pretty far into that game, or did, have you just started it recently? Alright. Looks like the next mage quest will be at level 50. So now I got some time. Oh, George fell to his death and his back. Okay. Perfect. Excellent. I did it on purpose. Alright, so I need to go back to Linosia. Alright, so from here on out in the stream... I was just finishing out that last uh, white mage quest from last stream. Um, but now I want to get back to doing the... Uh, brain... I want to get back to doing the uh, the, ma the main quest. So I'm going to get back to that guy at the, the windmill. Mexican Tail says, I've made it far. Okay, nice. Like, do you know about how many hours into the game you are? Just out of curiosity. Oops, nope. Stop. 
Actually, wait a minute. Where am I? I'm in the wrong place. That's for sure. Oops. Uh, Summerford Farms. Let me go there. I have not explored any of Limsa Lominsa. Max can tell how many hours? Like, 10 minutes. Okay. Nice, I think. That sounds nice. I'm glad you're having fun with it. Max can tell, I just heard that song somewhere. Uh, which song? The the one on, in, in the game I'm playing? In Final Fantasy XIV? What am I... Flying chair. The fastest way to travel. Xintel says, I need to get the tombs. Yes. Okay. Nice. Yeah, so today, uh, for this stream, we're planning to fight... Uh, there's another... There's another uh, big boss coming up in this game. Uh, oh, where the heck am I? This feels... Where? Where am I? Uh... I don't know where this is. I'm super lost, but yeah. There's another big boss coming up in this game. The His name is Titan. He's a primal god. I'm hoping I can uh, beat him up today. We'll find out what happens. That stupid fates. That song is from other game I played it, the PS1. This song right here? The one that's playing like while I'm flying on my chair? Paranormal, can you look up Final, 15, Final Fantasy 15 Royal Edition chapters? Uh. Oops. Where the. Uh, just... Ooh, where am I? How did I... Where... Did I pass? I think I passed it. How did I... Where am I? Jeez. Maxentel says yes. Uh, I'm not sure if I can look it up right now. Um, I'm in the middle of trying to find where the sky is at. Like, uh, I'd, I'd actually I don't have a. I don't have like a. Uh, I'm trying to think what do you, what do you call it. I don't have a thing set up on my my stream right now to where I can like look up uh, like display. I can't like display like internet pages or anything. I don't have a way to to pull that up on stream at least right now. Oops, no, that way. I mean, I could look it up like on my phone. I'm not really sure. Um. So, you, you want me to look up the Final Fantasy 15 chapters? Or is that a song called Chapters? I'm, it's a little, I'm a little unclear. 
but songs from other game I played it in the PS1. Can you look up Final Fantasy XV Royal Edition chapters? Yeah, I, I'm not sure what you want me to... I, I'm not sure I understand what you want me to look up. Um... You think... Hmm... I'll... I'll come back to that in just a moment. I'm just gonna... Mexican Tell says do it. I'm not... I, I'm sorry, I really don't understand what you're... What you're asking... Me to do. Um... Here, I will... I can... Take a pause for just a second. Like, I... I, I don't have a way to pull it up on the stream. Like, on screen. Like, I don't have anything set up on my recording, uh, set up for, like, looking up, like, let's see here. I don't know see. Fifteen chapters? Okay, I mean, I'm seeing something that says that there are 15 chapters in Final Fantasy 15. If that's what you're asking. I don't see, like, anything else about this, like, chapters that comes up with the game. So I'm really not too sure what you're asking about. Uh, Tractome appears to be ignoring you. Oh. Mm. What? You still asking about how I beat Titus? His name Titus? I thought it was Titan. Am I crazy? I don't know, Venture. It was a pretty risky strategy. Kind only a veteran of ten score battles could rely upon. I want to teach you. I truly do. But unless you prove you have what it takes to face that fat, I can't in good conscience tell you a darn thing. Uh, at the very least, you need to be capable of slaying, say, a, a gooboo. What is that? Come to think of it, that ain't a bad idea. Them creatures have a taste for the flour mill, dear. So you ought to have no trouble finding one in the vicinity. Of course, I ain't asking you to cut one down quick as a skilled axeman like myself. Any road, why don't you try heading due west and stand lookout, in case a gooboo comes calling. Slay it, and I might consider telling you more about old Titus. Wait, is this thing called Titus? Did I mishear that so badly? Hold on. Uh, let me check my journal here. I'm so confused. I thought I was fighting Titan, but now it's Titus. I don't know if I'm misremembering or if he's misremembering. It's very concerning. Oh my... Stop. Map. Okay, this way. Mexican Tail says, hurry up and my guys are waiting for me. Fifteen chapters? Right, I'm not... Right, there's fifteen chapters in Final Fantasy XV. I saw that. I don't really see anything else coming up on... On the, like, the... the When I when I googled that. I'm really not sure what you're, what you're asking about, uh, Mexican Tail. I'm sorry. What am I looking for? Oh, I just need to click on that, I guess. Mexican Tale, there are 14... Paranormal, there are 14 chapters in Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, I don't know... I don't think this game is divided up into chapters. I mean, there's... There's the main, like, Realm Reborn game. And then there were... Three? Or four? Like, expansions on top of that? Like, it's a pretty long game. It's like... It's like something like a hundred plus hours long. Yeah, I don't know if they really don't divide it up into into chapters. They divide it up kind of like uh, levels. Like every quest has a certain level. And then as you go farther, like the levels get higher and higher kind of a thing. Is how they have it set up. 
So I think it's a little bit different from Final Fantasy 15. I think so anyway. I'm not sure. Track tone. Eh? You again? Then that gooboo that was harassing the Millers is dead. Didn't think he had any adventure. Still, it took forever and a day to get the job done. Still not sure if I should tell you our secrets. Alright, boss. Just give me your money. Tractome remains unconvinced of your readiness to defeat the dread primal Titus. Is this called Titus? Am I an idiot? Was this called Titus the whole time? Dag nab it. I'm gonna have to like change all my thumbnail art. My title art. I'm just an idiot. Nobody knows what I'm talking about. Ah, dag nab it. I thought it was called Titan. Where did I get Titan? What? Dag nab it. All right. So, uh, as I was saying. Oops. I'm all messed up now. So, as I was saying, I still don't know if you've got what it takes to face Titus. Maybe if you slew, uh... Tractome? You in here drinking again? If you are, that goober would better be dead. Oh, it's dead, Chief. You have me word on that. Cleave the beast's skull in two with me, trust the axe I did. Uh, is that a fact? And what will your friend here say if I ask him? He'll vouch for me, of course. Uh, ain't that right, uh, friend? Tell me true. Was it Tractome who slew that gooboo? Or was it you? T Chief, what are you saying? It's me, Tractome. The finest axeman ever to serve in the company of heroes. Legendary mercenaries who slew that... Titus. Titus? Titus? Who in the seven hells is Titus? Some primal you fought in a drink sodden dream. Company of heroes slew Titan, you bloody halfwit. Oh my gosh. I was being gaslit. I knew it was Titan. I'm not an idiot. He's the idiot. Uh, I, w well, see, Titus was what me and the lads used to call him. That's the biggest load of Sahagans <laughs> I've ever heard. Both of you, outside, we'll learn the truth the Luminson way. Tracked home. If you didn't slay that gooboo, you may consider your contract revoked. <laughs> Shrugged my shoulders at him. Tracked home's like, oh no, my job. Say it ain't true. Tracked home, you're not coming outside. I can challenge you to the triad? They call me a working man. I reckon that's what I am. Drinking out of the chief's nose, sneaking out of the back. Nobody will ever know? Okay. I guess he's... What do you want each to him? Alright, you still... You said that last time. You're glowy. Okay, I guess there's a battle commencing. Don't know what that's about. Destroy the large boulder? Alright, you know the rules. First man to smash this boulder will be Judge the Goo Boo Slayer. I don't even think about trying to kill me. That's cheating. <laughs> Who picked these bullets? Nothing to like. Oh, what the hell was that? The contest begin. How you doing, matey? Feeling a bit stiff by any chance? And only killing's against the rules. I don't know if I want to let. Th I was, you know, I was kind of thinking, like maybe I'll let him win. But he's uh, kind of being an a-hole about it. Still at it, bugger me, just lucky I got one of these. This 
this happening? What is that thing? What was... Alright, oh, alright, oh, I admit it. I lied about being in the company of heroes. But I'm begging you, Chief. Please don't dismiss me. I've learned me lesson. Honest, I have. Save your blubber and tract home. Ah, gods, I should have known. Mercy, please. I didn't want to deceive you, I swear. It's just that I kept getting turned away by all the folk I asked for work. And I panicked. See, the last job I had was at Costa del Sol. And there was this gizzled marauder everyone treated like royalty. When I heard he was captain in the cap in the when I heard he was a captain in the captain of company of heroes, I finally understood why. I, I wasn't being serious when I said I was one of them, but you wouldn't believe me, so I so I uh, uh, uh. Look, look. His name was Wastekite, alright? Wastekite. He'll tell you how to defeat Titus or whatever the hell that thing's name is. That's what you wanted, ain't it? So come on then. Tell the chief to forgive me. It's only fair. <laughs> they shrug their shoulders at each other. Great. I'm glad this worked out for everyone involved. Uh, where did that chief guy go? Like, the boss. I can challenge him to try it, I guess. Triple try it, I guess, is what that is. Alright. Let us, uh, proceed. Uh, hold on. That... Where does that take me? Where am I? Hold on, where... No, I'm going the right way. God, I'm like... I'm so out of it tonight. Everything exploded right before the stream started, and now I'm just ruined forever. Okay. Here we go. So I wasn't wrong. It is called Titan. What is that thing? Hold on. We're gonna take a sneaky sneak look. What is this? A large buffalo. Buffalo large. Uh oh. Oh, don't be stomping. It has a big buffalo. They don't lie when they say big. Bull perch tower. <laughs> so good. Oh, I ran out of sprint juice. That's alright, I'm almost there. More damage. <sighs> yes. Okay. Let me hurry and attune myself to this for future purposes. Yes. Perfect. All right, now I'm on the lookout for waste kite. There he is. That's convenient. Oh, pardon. You wish to slay the Lord of Crags? We must slay him, Captain. The people of Limsa Lomins are depending upon us. You fancy yourselves heroes, then. Just like in the tales. Be not so quick to judge. Long have I labored for the well-being of you and yours. And my associate here has bathed in Nefrit's hellfire and lived. He is blessed with the power that protects him from primal influence. Thus was he able to lay low the Lord of the Inferno. We know full well the risks and have taken every possible precaution. We lack only the knowledge of how to enter Titan's lair. Pray be so good as to grant us the boon of your wisdom. And we shall be on our way. Hmm. Man who can't be tempered. Useful. 
it will not be enough. It is true that the company of heroes fought and failed primals, but each victory was bought with the lifeblood of brave men and women. And Titan was the worst we faced. Aye, we defeated him. In the end, but he took from us some of our very best. Even if you possess the power you claim, I have no reason to believe you will succeed. Believe what you will, we mean to try. Though our lives be forfeit, we will not abandon Limsa to the wrath of Titan. You are passionate, I'll grant you that. And you deserved better than the greeting I gave you. But I will not send you into Ogomora on a whim. To be plain, I do not wish to see you give your lives in vain. At the very least, I must have assurances that you are more than common adventurers. Do you have mitts like these, perhaps? I oversee security for Master Gegeruju's estates. Perhaps you can demonstrate your abilities by attending to one of our... Ye gods, man! Have you heard nothing I have said? We have not the time to perform trivial tasks. The enemy is at the gates. Do you imagine words can sway me, girl? If you dislike my conditions, you're welcome to find your own way into El Gamoro. Though it pains me to admit it, I fear we have no choice but to acquiesce to the man's demands. Yet much remains to be done if we are to best heighten. Forgive me, but I must ask you to undertake this task alone. I'll use the time to see to the remaining preparations. Leaving the dirty work to others, are we? Heh, <laughs> very well. Pray, do whatever the captain bids. However, tri however trifling. Remember, the fate of Limsa Lominsa hangs in the balance. I'm not scrubbing toilets for Limsa Lominsa, Ishtola. I'm telling you right now. If he tells me to take out the trash, it's the end of the city. Wastekite. Wastekite would like to verify that you are not a complete fraud. Well, I'm not a fraud like that other guy that's a fraud. Master Gegeruju's request can be more demanding than you realize. Before I set you to your true task, I would like to verify that this won't be a waste of my time. And Nyx has recently been seen prowling the beach to the east. As you can imagine, my master does not want large, slimy creatures anywhere near his lands. The beast's cunning, but you should have no difficulty luring it out with herring. Slay the Nyx and return to me. Oh, and don't forget to bring me a leg as proof of the kill. I... sure. I'll get you four legs if you want. It's down on the blood shore. Which is not the place you want to spend your honeymoon. Feels good. Come along, George. Oh, George. Uh, inventory. Perfect timing. Alright, George, you're staying with me. Never leave my side, George. Remember that. I'll keep feeding you tasty, tasty chocobo drugs. This seems fine. Oh, yeah. This will be an easy fight. Big open space. That's not ominous at all. A fattened herring. I smashed it like glass. have to hide. That makes sense. You know, fair enough, game. I have to hide and wait. Oh, my lord. That thing is burly. And it is also dead. Lie and wait for the Nyx. Do I need one of these legs? I guess I don't. It was fine. No legs needed here. Get back up there, though. I jumped off like a fool. Wait. I can swim? I'm so nimble. I ran out of nimbleness. My nimble juice ran out. Unfortunate. Get out of here, I'm talking to Waste Kite. 
That's right, you leave. Well, did you deal with the Nyx? I have a Nyx leg. Lest you think me overly cautious for testing you in this way, you should know that we had an incident not long ago. A foolish young employee was dismissed for lying about his past. He claimed to have served in the company of heroes, but I knew for a fact he did not. Anyway, now that the pointless busy work is finished, I shall give you a challenge as befits your talents. Great. Give me that challenge as befits my talents. Two highly distinguished individuals are scheduled to visit Costa del Sol in the near future, and Master Gegeruju wishes to welcome them with an elaborate banquet. But while money is no object, not everything Master Gegeruju desires can be so easily purchased. It must be an extremely exotic feast. And so, Grayson, your mission is to seek out and obtain the rare ingredients our, che our chef requires. Naturally, such fine dining must be accompanied with a suitable wine. By suitable, I mean the very best there is. That, however, can wait for the time being, as I believe you have enough on your plate as it is. It will be a long and it will be a long and arduous journey, but you need not toil alone. Many of the mercenaries once served under my commands to live, and they will guide you in your quest. For the first ingredient, I would have you travel to the South Shroud and speak with Landonil at Camp Tranquil. What? You gonna tell me you cannot afford to waste time as your associate did? Adventurer, if you have not the endurance to complete this mission, how do you expect me to believe you can outlast the Lord of Crags? Either do it or don't. I have work to do. Alright, I'll do it. And then I don't. Camp Tranquil, I think he said. I can go to Camp Tranquil. I can go there all day, any day. And it got bright. Uh, where am I going this way? No, he's somewhere in here. Wait. Aha, Landonil. You require assistance, adventurer. Ah, so this is the one who would challenge Titan. I've been expecting you, Grayson. The ingredient you seek is the egg of a giant adamantois. The method of acquisition should be obvious. You steal it from the beast's nest, of course. Simple in theory but difficult in execution. Most who try die in the attempt. Will I help you get it? Ha! <laughs> you amuse me! I'll not jeopardize my position by openly assisting you. From me, you will receive only information. What you do with it is your choice. Thanks, guys. You're the best. Landonil needs to explain a few things to you. I'm sure he does. I'm sure he does. Let me be clear. This business between you, me, and the captain must remain a secret. See, I don't regret my time spent with the company in the slightest. Traveling the world, meeting interesting people, killing them, it was all jolly good fun. Alas, Gridanians are, by and large, an unforgiving lot. Deto here being a rare exception. <laughs> She's angry in the background. I've had to go to great lengths to ensure that I am seen as a model citizen, with no taste for drinking, whoring, gambling, and all of those other activities I so dearly miss. So understand that if you ruin my little charade by wagging your tongue, I'll fashion a noose with your entrails and hang you from the nearest heaven's pillar. Well, what are you waiting for? There's a perfectly good adamantoise egg in a nest to the east of here, just ripe for the taking. Not that I expected to live long enough to claim it. Ha ha ha, I'm a jerk. The mother never strays far from the child. You will surely be attacked the moment you lay hands upon the egg. There will be other heroes, Grayson. You do you do not need a challenged titan. Abandon your quest, or your corpse will rot in the swamp. <laughs> well, that was not the most encouraging pep talk I've ever had. I fell down. Quite frankly, if I can't take fall damage, then what's even the point, you know? Like, it'd be way less fun. Adamantoy egg. I bet she won't even notice when I take the egg. Adamantoysers are stupid, probably. Nope, there it is. It's mine. 
Gonna lay my hands all over it. Easy. Who could possibly be hostile about this? Get out of here. It's your fault for leaving it alone. Oh, should have put it in a car seat. Oh. I... Pick it up again? I have an egg. Man, not only did I steal a baby, I killed its mom. I am such a hero. No one could deny it. Let's see here. Uh, there you are. <coughs> I thought you might have the good sense to leave this place. By a continued presence, I take it you intend to pers persevere to the bitter end. Here. <laughs> such bravery, such recklessness. It'll serve you well against Titan. Leave the egg with me. I'll see that it gets to the captain. You should make haste to southern Th southern Thanalin. In Forgotten Springs, you'll find a man named Uod, Uod Nun. She'll be our next guide. Safe travels, Grayson. You'll always have Ula. Alright, uh, great. So now I need... Where did it... Oh, hold on, let me... Thanalin. Forgotten Springs. How do I... Little Alamigo is the closest one I can get to. Alright, Little Alamigo Hoi. As they say. Still really don't know what leave meets are. One of these is I'm gonna have to learn about leave meets. I don't know if they're important or if they're just like a waste of time. Could be both, I guess. Uh Forgotten Springs, yes. Oh, hi ho silver. Away. I joined it? Uh. I'm here, I guess. Oh my gosh. Okay. Sorry, apparently I'm saving bandits. I'm saving kidnapped people from bandits. happening. I uh, success. We did it. Uh, good job, everybody. Uh, where, what the heck was I doing? Hi-ho, Silver! Uh-oh. Something targeted me. 
I'm taking to understand that's not a friendly action. Fight me, you won't. I thought so. Oh, hell yeah. The greatest plan! Do what you won't. How do I get to where you is? Guess I go this way. Might be taking the long way around slightly, but that's fine. Oh boy, it's the desert. My favorite. Uh, okay. Oh, there's a crystal. I am going to attune to that crystal. It is mine. Mine for the taking drifting cloud. Unfriendly sort of folk to you. Asked to, le asked to leave to use one of the empty bunks once they you know, threw me out of town. Alright, don't know what that was about. But I found a crystal. And technically, you just have to, like, you have to, like, physically make contact with the crystal, right? So, in theory, I could be licking all these crystals and be getting the same effects. That's my head cannon. I just run straight over these things and I just lick them. And that's how I get their powers. Huod Nun. State your business adventurer. Uh... <laughs> so this is the one Waste Kite, Kite sends me. I'm the foggiest idea what he sees in you. And until I do, you'll receive no aid from me. You drunk off your rocker? What happened? Determination, direct hit, or critical hit. Uh... What is the difference? I want determination, I guess? I don't know. I have no idea what these are. Thanks. Let me see if I can use that. I guess I'm already appropriately healed or equipped. Odin wants you to hunt the most dangerous game. Uh, here? I read that story. Persistent bugger. Very well. Let's have a look at you. You've seen your share of battle. There's no mistaking that. And you did manage to obtain that adamantois egg. However, that was not more than a display of brute force and blind courage. The noon I once fought also believed that his strength would save him. He was wrong. And now I am noon. Many years ago, I joined the company of heroes to hone my skills. Instead of challenging my predecessor before I was ready, even when I was young, I understood that victory goes to the patient, the cunning, the pragmatic. That is why I claimed my position, and it is why I still hold it, and it is why I will not help an unproven whelp. The children of the sands do not offer aid to strangers. To do so is a sign of weakness. However, if you were recognized as a skilled hunter in your own right, it would be permissible to assist you. Across the desert to the east lies an Amalja encampment. There dwells a, ro a warrior renowned both for his strength and his guile. To even face this Amalja in battle, you must, find, you must first find a way to lure him away from the encampment. This will be your test, to draw out and defeat the veteran. For this, I will offer you no advice. Only this worn spear. Why, you ask? You will have to solve that riddle yourself. Now go, slay this old warrior and bring to me his necklace. It doesn't seem... It doesn't seem quite right. Well. A lot of quests around here. 
Okay, uh... Way over there. Oh, man. I don't want to have to walk. Alright. How do I get over there? Well, time to ride. I'm taking the comfy way today, apparently. It's chairin' time. Oh, I don't like what those are. Whatever those are, they're bad. That's fine, I guess. Ugh. He looks like that monster from Final Fantasy VII. The sandworm. Yuck. No, thank you. Ooh. Oh, this is actually really cool. I like this. This might be like one of my favorite environments I've seen yet in this game. Like a big oil well? What is that? That's so weird and different looking. What are you? What is you? Why are you? What is this? Ready to strike? Interesting. Well, good luck with that. I apparently need to go kill a guy. Uh, I see a shiny spot just for Grayson. I guess he likes spears. I have to go hide. Sneaky, sneaky like. A mournful cry echoes across the desert. Stone spike Tanad Gas. This doesn't feel like a That didn't really feel... So far, these quests don't feel so good. First, I had to kill a mom and steal her child. And now I just killed a guy who was clearly sad about the thing I had brought him. So that feels kind of underhanded. Also, just in general, seeking out a fight doesn't feel so good. I'd rather be on the defensive. I don't want to cause trouble. I don't know about this. This game's making me do things I don't much care for. I have to run across an effing desert. Such a big desert. There it is, okay. Getting there, getting there. There are you flying nonsense. Why don't you talk to the chocobo keep? Great. Okay. I'd update that. So now I can talk to what's his face. That's probably fine. Alright, jerk off. What's your problem? Tell me, adventurer. Is our old nemesis dead? Here, have a necklace. Tis a fine necklace, as befits a veteran of countless battles. It will make an excellent trophy. The spear? It belonged to one of his brothers. I knew when he spied it from afar he would be unable to resist venturing outside the encampment to see for himself. Did you discern my intent? Or was it dumb luck, I wonder? <laughs> Either way, you impress me, adventurer. I shall tell you of the ingredient you seek. I haven't even told you the ingredient. Uh, toadskin jacket. 
Uh, I don't know if that's any better than what I have. Probably not. I'll take the money and run. I leveled up. Because I'm the best. Uo Noon is finally wailing to tell you of the ingredient you seek. A shame we did not meet when I was still with the Company of Heroes. You would have made a fine recruit. But no point dwelling on what cannot be. You have a Welwick worm to hunt. Sandworms slither brazenly across the desert runes. Desert dunes, but Welwick worms are far fewer in number. Rarity breeds demand, and so their meat is highly prized as a delicacy. The only way to catch your quarry is to entice it with something it cannot resist. These worms prey on the smaller creatures of the Sicoli. A freshly slaughtered angler carcass would be my choice of bait. There is an area teeming with anglers to the east. I will mark it upon your map, along with the location where Welwick worms are most frequently sighted. Be warned, the blood will drive the worm into a feeding frenzy. If your skills are lacking, it will devour you as well. Great. Glad this is the plan. Oops. There we go. Yeah, he's got that under control. I have made the executive decision. That's what control looks like when you're surrounded by ten worms. Oh my gosh. Why are deserts so big? It's impossibly far away. I'll never make it. Can't be done. Ah, I'm gonna die of old age. Comfortably on this chair. Did it say how many of these I have to kill? Okay. So you got an angler thing. to run another impossibly far distance into the desert. Oh, jeezum. What am I doing? I'm a fool. I could have been sucking on eggs. There we go. I'm well fed now. It's impossible. Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. All right. You have an angler, Mr. Wellwick. This is really my hiding spot. The beast will never find me way over here. Surely not. What? It found me way over here. Inconceivable. That's probably fine. I did it. I collected a worm and put it in my pocket. Uh, now I have to walk again. Wait, no I don't. Uh... What is that called? Is that called Forgotten Springs? I think so. I think that's Forgotten Springs. We'll find out in a second. Hey, it was. Okay. Sweet. That was enough walking for me today. Alright, Uod Noon. You look well. Have you caught your quarry then? I have... Whatever that was, a liver. 
Your skills as a hunter rival those of our best. I applaud your success, Grayson. The meat will need to be heavily smoked before I ship it to Wastecast. Wastekite. Wastekite. Worry not. You have my word that he will receive it in time for the banquet. You must be eager to obtain the third ingredient. I regret to say that I know not of its location. For the nonce, you should return to Costa del Sol and seek Wastekite's counsel. Ah, but hold a moment. Since you'll be meeting the captain again soon, there is something I would like you to deliver to him for me. And sure. I got nothing better to do, apparently. Oh my gosh. Right, what's this thing you want me to deliver? The captain was always fond of this brandywine. I would be grateful if you could deliver it on my behalf. I was a reckless, angry youth when I first joined the company, and he would have been well within his rights to cast me out. Everything I have I owe to his wisdom and generosity. Didn't you just say generosity was weakness, like, five minutes ago? Ah, Wastekite was a firm yet fair teacher, an expert molder of men, and I suspect that is still the case now. Please, give him my regards, Grayson. Sure. I'll do that for you, buddy. Pal. Friendo, there and back again, you say? Good. How do I... where was he? Costa del Sol. Guess that makes sense. Oops. I think he's just right over here, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Kind of went the long way around, don't know why, but it's fine. Waste kite. Well met, Grayson. Landen Landonil and Uod Nunes both spoke highly of you. What brings you here today? Ah, my favorite. I shall have to thank the Noon personally. Now, you have but one ingredient left. Fortunately, you will not have to travel to Aldenard this time to obtain it. Good. Great. Question mark. Is the ingredient within me? Is it the secret ingredient? Truth be told, I never intended for you to collect this last ingredient. Brave Phlox, my old quartermaster, wished to bring it to Costa del Sol herself. However, not long ago she sent word that there's been some trouble at the long stop, and that the delivery would be delayed indefinitely. She told me nothing of the incident itself, but I fear the situation may be dire. Though I would like nothing more than to aid her myself, I have no choice but to turn to you and your allies. Make haste to Hidden Falls docks and speak with Ozun Nazun. Ozun Nazun. He will direct you to Rain Kachagoli, where Brayflox and her people have made their home. Okay. Sure, the things we do for cheese. Uh, I guess we're doing some stuff for cheese. Uh... Gonna do things for cheese and style, though. Cause I got a horse. Alright, I got a unicorn horse, in fact. The best kind of horse. Some might say an improved horse. Just saying. It comes equipped for battle. No extra accessories needed. Alright, what do you want? Actually, this isn't Brayflox. This will be... Uh, what's his name's like acquaintance? Who knows where to go? I can't go in there, I guess. Ozun Nazun. Ah, what's the hurry, Venture? Eh, something happening over the Gobi settlement. I don't know why you're so eager to help a bunch of beastmen, but go and talk to the skipper over yonder. 
she'll ferry you to rain catch a goalie. When you say yonder, you mean way the heck yonder, don't you? How the heck do I get over there? Uh... I have to walk all the way around? Is that what I'm... Oh, very. Yes. I guess it'll just take me strictly there. Perfect. Great. Man, the things we do for cheese. Indeed. This place is lovely. I like it here. Where am I going? This way? There's a house in the way. No, there isn't. The house is an illusion. Level 34? That's fine. Some might even say, not my problem. Uh... Ooh. Gigan Toad. That is pretty Gigan. Uh... You look like you have that under control. Alright. Oh my gosh, it's so much walking. Gray flux, all talked. Oh, you're not what I expected, but okay. <gasps> Tongue flaps of whiskate. Tongue flaps of whiskate be reaching ears of Bray flux. Uplanders come for tasty fresh gobby treats, yes? Quest prize of Uplander deep in Longstop. Flighty beasts chased gobby flock from homes. Hobby flock need goodly upland to give safety to Longstop with much hand lending. New regular duties been added to the duty finder and duty support. Oh! That was a dungeon. Ah. The soda's cost. Brayflux cannot give what Brayflux doesn't have. Uplander and Gobby flock must first back take Longstop. Ah! Interesting. Well, I guess we're doing a dungeon. Um, level 32. Yeah, I, I really did. I jumped from a level 24 dungeon to a level 35 dungeon. No wonder I struggled so badly. I'm an idiot. Anyway. Uh. Yeah, I guess we're doing a dungeon. Cool. Great. I like me a dungeon. And I probably won't get anyone killed, maybe, hopefully? Yeah? Maybe? Find out. Above ground dungeon? Is that even legal? I've always been, like, in caves and stuff. Oh. Stompy. It's somebody's first time. I wonder who that is. I should have, uh... 
Oh, he forgot his stance. No problem. I was gonna say, like, everybody was getting, like, attacked a lot. That was, like... Kinda got crazy for a second there. with a summoner. Somebody be summoning. Very cool. It's like if you don't panic and just pay attention, this game isn't that hard. Or at least it's manageable, you know? Crazy. Crazy how that works that way. He's sprinting. He is a sprinter in. See. Nope, oh, we're still going, okay. Nah, we're still going even. Interesting. Okay, oh. You, uh. You're a confident kind of. kind of dungeoner tank. That's what you do. Okay, cool. Good job, team. Wally Yi, I'm trusting you. Okay, I guess we're going. This is fine. Everything is under control. Everything is under control. So this village got attacked by dinosaurs? 
It's Land of the Lost? What happened? Wait, where did he go? Oh, he did go down here. Oh, wait. Come, wait. Hold on. <laughs> I guess we're still going. That's not my first choice, but it's the choice that has been made for me. are back under control. Good. Just gonna keep them targeted just in case. This guy lives dangerously. And as the person who has to undanger him, I'm not sure if I care for that. going on that thing. You got hurt. What happened there? Oh. What happened? Uh, interesting. That was weird. Didn't care for that none. I got all froze it up. It's not what you want to see at all. Oh, don't. Oh, good. Oh. Okay. What the hell was that? Was that an ally? I think that was the summoner. The summoner did like his his limit break or something, I guess. Wacky. Alright, let's see how many things he tries to yeah, he's gonna <laughs> He makes big poles. Big risks. Big rewards. Big pain for me. Oh, it's thunky. That was thunky. Okay, it's fine. Oh, this guy has a lot of faith in my ability to keep up with the amount of damage he's soaking up. Okay. Wow. I guess we're fine. This dungeon's been really fun, by the way. Like... I feel like these dungeons are like really well paced for uh for learning mechanics because like this is like teaching me that I gotta start using heal or uh, cure two a lot more in order to keep up with the amount of damage that's happening sometimes. Oh, you were like a hint. You were like a hint of the problem we were about to have.
assume. That doesn't seem so bad. Oh, that seems really bad, actually. Oh, don't attack me. Oops. This is fine. Oop. Mm -hmm. Just preemptively give you some heal juice. Fine. Give you some health. Hey, we did it. Okay, that wasn't bad. And I, I really feel like I'm starting to understand the, the, the white mage class. Like, at least a little bit. Oh, that guy with the sunglasses is way too cool. Yeah. Nice, nice, okay. Let me give somebody a commendation here. Here, you can have it. Hey, we saved a bunch of level 15 goblin guys. Just gonna head out, actually. I received two player commendations. Nice. People like me. Alright, Brayflox. I killed so many dinosaurs. It's basically Jurassic Massacre, Massacre in there. Goodly Uplander has thanks of Gobby flo Flock. Flighty Beast was tricksy foe, but Uplander outwitted with plans making. Uplander has goodly head for thinking for fighty think. Rayflox, happy gives tasty fresh gobby treats to clever uplander. Oh, talking to goblins is painful for my brain. Jesus, stinky sweet gobby treat. Special make with secret gobby arts. Gobby arts. No party complete without gobby gouda. Brayflox, every say. I'm sorry. I'll I'll trust your words, Brayflox. Um I'll trust whatever those words were. Okay, how do I... I'm just gonna teleport. Uh, this was... Costa del Sol. I remember. Because I'm good with memory making of having. Yes. The things we do for cheese. Ain't that the truth. Nope, it's over there. Okay. Coming for you, Weiss Kite. Weiss. Weiss Kite? I don't know how to say that. <gasps> ah, I gather you solved Brave Flox's little problem. Are you really in a. Do you really have to play music right here? Like, come on. I gather you solved Brave Flox's little problem. Here, have some goblin cheese. I wouldn't trust it, but you know what? You're a braver guy than I am. Oh, by the gods, the unholy stench. This is... Oh, definitely goblin cheese. Are you really gonna... be an A about this with your heart? Judging from the smell, this should be quite flavorful. Hmm? How is it made? 
Uh, it's best you remain ignorant of such things. I still remember when I learned what kind of milk they use. Ugh. Come on, why are you playing right here? There. Wise Kate would like to congratulate you on a job well done. Bravo, Grayson. Thanks to you, our guests shall, have, shall be honored with a marvelous banquet. Boba Good is an exotic feast without an equally exquisite apertif. Luckily, I know just the person to ask. Make your way to Wineport and seek out Shamani Lomani, another former member of the company. All you have to do is give him this order slip. He'll take care of the rest. Oh, and if you're wondering if this is merely a ploy to test your patience, I assure you I do actually need that wine. And while you're there, give Shamani Lomani my regards. Uh, where is this? What do you mean you forgot the wine? Oops. Wine port. Uh, how do I... Yeah, I have to go all the way down and over? Oh my gosh. And somebody's jamming out on their sitar or something over there. Ugh. So much walkie walk. Grayson no like the walkie walk. I like to do the fighty think, or whatever that guy said, I like, whatever. No, Brayflox was a gal, as I recall. A snipper. That's an apt name, I suppose. Guess I'm going right through the... There it is! The scary strings of doom. Approaching where there is. Maybe. Lower Linosia. Can't believe I have to go all the way down and around. This is ridiculous. It's a little bit faster now that I have the mount. And I gotta say the flying chair is extra sweet. As far as... It's potential modes of travel go. So I can't complain too much. But man, it's like these developers want you to see the whole gosh darn game world or something when they make these quest lines. Can't possibly be anything left to chance that you might not see. Okay. Rain catcher goalie. Oh, I, I guess I could have taken the ferry. I forgot about that. There's a ferry that comes over here. So you know what? Partly my fault. I could have gone this way a little bit. There probably was a better way to get over here that I chose not to do. So. This is partly my fault. Far. There's so much ground to cover. Alright, um... Anywho. So, looking at the time... I think I'll at least get the quest line finished up with Waste Kite. I'll see if I can get far enough to where he actually tells me what's going on. Oops. I don't know that I'm gonna be able to... actually get to the dungeon with Titan today. I imagine there's quite a few more... like, hills and hurdles I have to get over and through. I don't know why I went the long- I'm going like the longest possible way about this. Because I'm not paying attention too closely to the map. Yeah, so I'll probably get this guy done at least today. Um, so hopefully for next stream, we can for realsies go about doing some titan killing. Uh, you know, unleash that inner Kratos, as it were. And that'll be fun. You got that under control. Okay, Storm Recruit. Level 36. Wow. Bunch of toughies up here. Give me that Aetherite 
I'm gonna lick it. A little French kiss right in front of the whole town. Make sure nobody else ever wants to touch it again. Shomani Lomani. Sweat, grime, and blood. Aye, ye reek of blood. An adventurer, unless I am mistaken. What brings you to Wineport? I have an order slip. An order? Let me guess. A request for the finest vintage I can muster. The paper smells of loam and perfume. Costa del Sol. And there's also the... Uh, unmistakable odor of goblin cheese. Yes, Master Gegaruju would not settle for anything less than the best. Dreistweiss and his crew must be quite busy preparing an exotic feast. Hence his decision to rely on an adventurer. Ah, but perhaps you are confused. This display of deduction was not intended to impress you. When one loses his vision, he is forced to compensate in other ways. You've no interest in my affairs. You wish only to discuss the wine, I suspect. Sure. I'll discuss whatever you want, Shomani Lamani. You and your... I mean, good on you for... Being smell goody. I don't know. Life can be so delightfully unpredictable. I always had a passion for wine, but it wasn't until I was forced to retire that I could pursue it as more than a mere hobby. It wouldn't have been possible if not for the savings I amassed during my time as a mercenary, of course. Say what you will about the nature of that work, none can deny that it pays well. Ah, but you grow impatient, and Weisskite must have his wine. Herein lies the problem. Nothing in my possession is of sufficient quality for this occasion. The best vintages in town are hoarded by... Berglaint, who owns and operates the largest winery in Vilbrand. Somehow, I doubt he'll be receptive to your request, but given these circumstances, we must needs beg his assistance. I guess we must needs do that. Don't bother explaining why we must needs do that. Just, I'll trust you that it must needs be so. Alright. What rank amateur bottled this wine? The impurities have rendered it nigh undrinkable. Dismissal is too good for the man responsible. He should be made to drink every drop of his polluted swill. What is it? I'm in the middle of an important discussion, and I do not care for interruptions. Hm? That neophyte vintner vi bid you speak with me? Ha! Neither you nor your friend has the palate to appreciate the subtle qualities of my private stock. I would sooner serve you gubu urine than sell my, you my worst vintage. Be gone from my sight. <laughs> you have a quest for me, if I so choose to do. You have a blue quest. You intrigue me. Shamani Lamani. I take it he said no. Really? In those words? Hmm. Well, I cannot say that I am surprised. While there's no denying his passion and skill, the wine baron of Limserlomince is not a man known for his tact. Very well. We shall have to take an alternative approach. Great. I love alternatives. Oh, there's a lot of options. There is a chance, however small, that another resident of Wineport can furnish us with a suitable wine. In fact, had you come several years ago, I guarantee this would not be a problem. Alas, the quality of our product has declined significantly in recent years. This only breeds... The only breeds cultivated these days are common lowland vines, which isn't to say that their grapes are of poor quality, only that we have known better. Long ago, the Vignerans of Wineport crossbred several species and produced a grape-bearing vine of never-before-seen quality. Bacchus grapes were once the pride of this town, as they were used to produce vintages which surpassed all others. This includes the most aromatic, the most complex, the most flavorful of all wines. Aye, the legendary Bacchus wines were born right here in Wineport. Do you love me a Bacchus wine? I assume. Ahem. Pardon my enthusiasm. You see, I once had the privilege to sample that particular wine. It was an otherworldly experience. In that moment, I felt as though I had tasted the nectar of the gods themselves. I transcended my mortal flesh and was one with all creation. Ha! <sighs> but as I all too often said, the calamity changed that. The Bacchus vineyards were completely destroyed, along with much of the existing stock of Bacchus wine. What little remains is closely guarded by its owners, for it can no longer be made. If we cannot convince Berglaint to part with his wines, our next best option, as ridiculous as it sounds, is to find someone who has a bottle of Bacchus wine, and to offer them every gill we can spare. 
I've heard rumors that one of the Vignerans tending the vineyards might have once owned a bottle. Perhaps you could start by speaking with them. I'll start by speaking with them. But not in here, apparently. I talked to them in here. No. Where is the set? What? Above me? Is it in the heavens? No, oh, it's probably up here. I see it. I see the path. At least part of the path. Talk to me. Zumbar. What? Do I have Bacchus wine? I wish. I never had a chance to try it myself. Sorry, friend, but you're a few years too late. No, I guess not. <gasps> I see him. Durim Falurim. Alright. Bacchus wine? Bah, don't remind me. You used to have a cellar filled with the stuff. Thought I could keep the wine safe from thieves in the elements. Never counted on a bloody primal blowing at my gosh darn house. Great. This was productive. I'm here now. I hope I can get out of here. I didn't think that far ahead in this plan. Oh, hey. My plan was thought far enough ahead. Perfect. Shamani Lomani. Uh, no luck, hmm? Most regrettable, but we had to try. Ah, uh, but Bacchus wine would have been perfect for the occasion. Though, I must confess, my certitude could be due in part to my personal history with that beverage. It is, after all, the very reason I decided to become a vintner. After Titan blinded me in our battle beneath Ogomoro, I fell into a deep depression. It wasn't until I tasted Bacchus wine for the first time that I realized there was still so much I could experience, even in my condition. It helped me to find a new direction in life. Ah... <sighs> It breaks my heart to think that wondrous ambrosia was, which once filled me with hope may f be forever lost to us. Ocean of... Mind? I want mind, I think. I don't know. I can't remember. Quest complete, level up. I learned rescue. Hmm. Shamani Lomani appears to be in deep thought. Hmm. I must say, this talk of Bacchus wine has made me rather nostalgic. Indeed, there is much I miss about my life with the Company of Heroes. After everything the captain has done for me, I could not bear to disappoint him. Aye, have no fear. I swear that I shall find a suitable wine for the banquet, though I may need some time to think of a solution. In the meantime, there is a favor I would ask of you. Two years ago, in the deepest deepest depths of my despair, I stumbled across Vilbrand as a vagabond drunk. I suspect I was looking for a place to die, because I very nearly found one not far from here. It was there that a man named Dress took me in and nursed me back to health, and it was he who gave me my first taste of Bacchus wine, which helped me to find my new calling. Though I am still a novice in the arts of wine making, I would like him to know that I am pursuing my dream. The wine is my this wine is my own original creation, and I'd be most grateful if you delivered it to him in my stead. Dressed sometimes works at the Raincatcher Gully docks, so perhaps Ritzkilt can tell you where to find him. I mean, sure. Hold on, I need to talk to this choke we'll keep. Oh, my traveler. Okay. And also, I want to check out what Huloon has here, because it's a blue quest. Blue quests are important, I've learned. 36. Hulun would entice you with the prospect of untold riches, you say? Interesting. Okay. That might be a good quest for next stream. Yes, I need to just head down to the docks, it looks like. I can do that. Oops. No. Okay. We're off to the races. Hi-ho, silver! Can't beat me, you fat chocobo. 
I'm the best. I have to go around. There's water in the way. Ah. Dressed. Oh, you mean the hermit. Hi, I tossed him a few gill when we need an extra pair of hands. He doesn't talk about himself, and I sure as hells don't ask. When a man's got a face with scars like that, you best leave well enough alone, I say. If you've a mind to find him, though, then head southwest to the Severed String. I head southwest to the Severed String. So I'm going to talk to this guy, and that'll probably be as far as I get with the uh, main scenario quest tonight. Oh, that's a secret bridge, apparently. It's like the thinnest line on the map. Don't mind me. Stepped on your tail. Don't worry about it. We're still friends. Okay. Yeah, this has been a pretty productive stream. It started off as a nightmare, but it's been pretty good otherwise. So I'm happy with that. Oh, he is way up here in the mountains. Stuck on a tree. The severed string, huh? Oh, somebody left. Here, mind if I let my horse run around here? Dressed. What? What do you want? Here, have this. W wine? Uh, I didn't ask for this. Who sent you? I... I uh, uh. You're all right, dressed. Here, drink this wine. Dressed is suffering from extreme duress. Can't... Can't sleep. They won't let me sleep. The, the midges, the, the, the buzzing, it keeps me awake. I'm, I'm not... I, I never wanted to hurt anyone. I, I won't fight. I, 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 I don't want to fight. P please, make the buzzing stop. M make the midges go away. Okay. Uh, tell you what, I am apparently going to keep this up for just a smidge longer, because I am con... <laughs> you know what? The Hell's Claw compels me to walk around it. Oh, no. Oh, man, I'm going to get Hell's Clawed. Don't. F off and die. Okay, I need to kill some midges. Uh, yeah, there's not a lot of midges. That guy's killing his midges. I'd have to wait a second. What is this thing, by the way? That shows it is not a natural object. That's like the remains of a ship or something. A sky boat. <gasps> I see midges. Five swarms. Ah, oh, jeez. I guess they respawn quickly enough. Okay. didn't want you to be involved in this, but I guess your death is necessary now.
Wait, now I got some animal hides apparently. I got three hides out of one animal. That's how math works. Alright. Let me just get rid of this thing real quick. Alright. I'm gonna sprint past whatever the, the hecky heck that thing is. Don't mind me, just a passing friend. Okay. Uh, it's not so loud anymore. Did, did you do that? Thank you. You, you helped me. Even after what my comrades and I did to your country. <clears throat> we were on a reconnaissance mission when the maelstrom caught us by surprise. We tried to escape, but the others... No one else survived. I didn't ask for this, dang it. I'm not even Garlean. They conquered my lands, just like they tried to conquer yours. I, I don't want to die in some blasted jungle halfway around the world. I just... I just want to go home. Oh, this is a bummer of a cabin. Alright, well... Cool. Dressed. Great. Alright, well, we'll hear the rest of that story, uh, next stream. But, as is tradition, can't end the stream until we do a good old-fashioned duty roulette. Because these are fun. So we're gonna go ahead and do this. Maybe. Maybe. Ah, we're waiting for a tank. Wow, that was the longest I've ever had to wait. That was ridiculous. Do people have to do that all the time? Like, wait for... Th I just barely did this one. That doesn't seem right. And I'm surrounded by Lollafells. Hold on. This don't seem right at all. I guess we're going. Who's in charge here? Oops. Oh my gosh, stop. Wait, what the hell? That didn't work. Why didn't it work? Gosh. What the hell is happening? Oh my gosh. There's no one to... Okay. just happened. Oh, I guess we're going. Oh, what is happening? Oh, not again. I'm feeling the panic. I think, I think, I don't know why that heal didn't, I don't know where that heal went. It didn't heal him. <laughs> and then everything went to crap for a second. Gosh dang it.
Hell, I did this perfectly before. What happened? these duty roulettes have been going so poorly for me lately. Okay, we're back under control. Bunch of Lollifels. Dag nabbit. Who is attacking who? What is... I guess it's fine. Wait, no, what am I... Nah. Oh, wait. Oh, I did the wrong spell. Okay. Okay. Oh, is that Brave Flox helping? Is that what's happening? Brave Flox is trying to help? That I didn't realize I didn't register that before. tell if I'm working with like a bunch of experts or a bunch of like slackers okay are we all alive oh my gosh you're already gone <laughs> this happens every time I'm like oh boy final duty roulette I sure do love doing these they're fun Where's... Swork? 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 Um... What is... What is happening? Am I being punked? going. Okay, sorry, I'm getting a little bit quiet because I'm trying to focus. It suddenly occurred to me that this dungeon could be a problem if I'm not, like, extremely on top of it. And also, I really can't tell if I'm being bad or if these guys are being, like, extremely aggressive. And maybe overconfident. Is it, like... Is it racist to wonder if all these Lollifels know each other? Do you think they're friends?
It's probably a coincidence. No, those two aren't a party, actually. They're partied. They got flags next to them. That probably means... I don't, I don't know what that means, actually. I'm just saying random junk. Wow. I feel like I moved the camera, or something happened. Okay, back under control. Stop it! That happened. Great. Super pleased. I already possess it, apparently. Alright, off we go. Into the wild blue yonder. Bray Flock's long stop. Ah, oh, the good gate. I like it. Do I have to wait for... Okay, no. This is fine. Okay. Oh, not time. Okay, this is... This is fine. Oh, I can't. I already possess it, apparently. I don't know why Zachrish is in the front. Doesn't seem quite right. Oh, we're going... Wait. Why'd you get hurt? Yeah, those, those people that have the flags on them, I think they might be in a party together. Maybe. I don't know that for sure. That's just like a blind guess. Because I honestly don't know what any of the symbols really mean. Oh, you're going berserk, I see. I'm getting the heck out of Dodge. I don't know you all. Hi. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, sweet. Level 78. Jeez. So K Krill is not a newbie.
Yeah, sweet. I received a player commendation. I only killed two people. Basically a pro. Ah, uh, yeah. Alright, well. Hello, George. Right, I think that'll be enough for today. Made some good progress. Made it up to Dressed, who is not doing so good. And we'll find out more about his tragic backstory, I'm sure, in the next episode. Next stream. So, uh, thanks everybody for stopping by, who's able to stop by. Uh, thanks for chatting with me for a little bit earlier, uh, Mexican Tail, if you're still around. And, uh, yeah, we'll be streaming again on Thursday, same uh, time as always. So, anybody's able to make it by, uh, it'll be fun to talk. See you then. Uh, have a good day, evening, morning even if you want. Uh, bye.